Hello, good afternoon. Myself Chandan, MG Chandan, and I am studying BA second semester in Kumudhuti College of Education, Shikaripura. And now I am going to give a seminar on the topic seminar. Okay, just move on. And we go to the introduction. Seminar is an exchange of ideas in some particular area, guided discussion of calm. Seminar is an exchange, you know the idea now present. Marthi is another guy, other than the ideas, now thoughts now in the presentation, Marthi, it's an attractive way. Seminar is a type of a group discussion where it focuses on the problems and solving approaches. Seminar on the type. अदन टाइप अंत बंद सेमिनार डिसकशन बेरे फोकस आ प्रॉम सालिंग ऐन प्रॉब्लम अथवा डिसकशन अदर टापिक हेकोदे इट इन द डिसकशन आफ् द प्रॉब्लम यूसिंग द स्म ग्रूप आंड स्टूडेंट आंड टीचर हू इस द एक्सपर्ट इन द फील एक्सपर्ट फील आगे ऐनबूद और कंडक्टर ना डेफिनेशन अंत से सैम इनस्ट्रक्षनल टेक्निक हय्यर् लर्निंग विच इनवा द पेपर रीडिंग आन द थीम आंड फॉलोड बै द ग्रूप डिसकशन टू क्लारीफ द कांप्लेक्स आस्पेक्ट आफ् द थीम ऐस ई आलरे सैड इनस्ट्रक्षनल टेक्नी टेक्निक इट्स एन द इंस्ट्रूमेंटल थ्रू नाव प्रेसेंट वी आर् गोयिंग टू द प्रेसेंट द फॉर् द हय्यर् लर्निंग प्रोसेस द थीम वी आर् यूज टू प्रेसेंट द सेमिनार एंड डिसकशन टू क्लारीफ द कांप्लेक्स आस्पेक्ट When we go to the higher level, we need to convey the students with higher level thinking capacities and higher level concepts. Now, objectives of when you go to the learn the objectives of the seminar is main objectives is that to develop the higher cognitive abilities, to develop the ability to give clarification and defend the ideas of the other effectively, to develop the feeling of cooperation. to develop the emotional ability among the participants of the seminar to acquire good manners of putting questions and answering the questions of effectively ega one we need we just go through the seminars it enhance the the mental capacity of the person it develop the feeling of cooperation with the what we go into the presentation that's why in when we come to the types of the seminar there is some four types mini seminar main seminar national seminar and international seminar now we go to know what it is mini seminar a seminar organized to discuss a topic in a classroom condition is known as the mini seminar main seminar such a seminars are organized in the department level or institution level you know heard about the some resource persons will come and go to the colleges and give some some specific topic lecture method they use and uh, next national seminar it is organized by the association at the national level what may be national seminars it may be like in a conference uh, you know heard about in universities they conduct an seminar on the conferences and the scholars will come and give their uh, thesis or it may be in some topics in international seminars such seminars are organized by the unesco and other international organization with international organization which means they propound or present the such a schemes for a for example for the women empowerment it may be from the uh, poor people development so many types okay and effectiveness of seminar we go to the how effective seminar is ability to ability of teacher to direct total process and effective use of primary data members ability to use group discussion techniques effectively these are the main effectiveness of the seminars which we are going to take use of it and requirement of seminars when we going to do something we need some requirements so the requirements of seminar will be like this now teacher plays as a leader role in this and minimum 10 to 15 members are participants which we are we are presenting and they are the observers the topic is presented by the students taking 15 to 20 minutes at time a duration it may be 15 to 20 minutes or exceed than that but the value of content should be minimum duration is 1 to 2 hours it may be for the making of presentation it takes one or two hours or more than that leader should keep the discussion within the limits of the problem discussed 
when we go into the give a seminar on such a topics we we need to concentrate on the discussions it not goes to the other concepts or exceed than the out of the box what we call and student present their data in a informal way under the leadership of the teacher and next and all the members take part in the discussion in an informal way but orderly in a manner their chairperson should be skilled in encouraging the timid participants a student secretary should record the problems with arise and solution given when you come to the rules of conducting seminar in we have you all have at my first i said there is a rules for everything what we do there is an rules so define the purpose of discussion when we start to the presentation or a seminar we should define the purpose of discussion what we given them to discuss relate the topic of discussion to the main concept of objectives to be achieved direct and focus discussion on the topic help student to express their ideas when we going to seminar we don't only focus on the only one part we should give chance to the students or learners to diverse thinking discussion should be kept interesting we should give the topic those topics should be interesting and they are e- eagerly want to know more and more and set limits of the each person and contribute have the discussion recorded either video or audio it may be helps to further studies plan for the teachers and students self evaluation and achievement of the objectives when we come to the next qualities of a good seminar the confidence the main we want that the confidence up to going to give seminar i know this seem fairly impossible at the moment but going into the presentation with the confidence really helps to self it to the your audience people want you to succeed and they are looking to you make them at ease if you are second guessing everything about your speech pattern and delivery how can you expect those listening to buy into what you are selling prepare thoroughly and come ready to the best job you can the right attitude can make a big difference keeping and kept and next the when we move to the after competence we have the passion to do the seminars and keeping captive audience and is not an easy task easy task especially within the business world while we are the information is no doubt inform important the subject material can be sometime be try so it's your job as the presenter you give some life delivering the topic with a fashion you can often time translate into a audience forming their own interest and in the subject when you can speak passionately and the equivalently and about the subject it will be the very least help to the hold the attention of the those you are speaking to the hopefully ignite a fashion of their own knowledge you have to when you going to the presentation you have this minimum knowledge of that things before getting started on your presentation you want to learn as much as possible about the subject you are going to speak about the about become as much as expert as in the reasonable to expect the hope is that without even preparing the presentation you would be able to speak at length on the subject without having the handle on the material you will lose the audience no matter how many times you practice an audience can always tell the difference between the someone who really knows the subject and those who are just regurgitating the facts and next one is the important things is naturalness wow when you going to do something note it should be not in a uh, naturalistic not any clumsy way or doing automatically i don't know i don't think so much so natural the class should be the natural memorizing a presentation can help make you feel more prepared but an overly memorized presentation is a too much fun to sit through presentation should certainly be a professional but they can also the benefit from the adding a bit of informality to proceedings being a comfortable with the material allows you to open a bit of naturalism when presentation which makes for a much more engaging talk stay on your talking points and don't stray off course but don't make things too rigid or else it wasn't with a fun for everyone don't make it rigid uh, cannot able to understand those stuff 
even the naturalistic way with convenient organizations the while the little informality can be great for the presentation when it comes to the structure of the presentation strict guidelines are important very important when a presentation hope around to open even if the right points are being hit it can be cause confusion in the audience and the message to be become muddled your points need to connect the lead from the one end to other so the audience has a story to follow this helps them to remember the information more easily and actually attend the when you are trying to say time sensitive getting across all the necessary information in your presentation is important but keeping the whole things to a reasonable length is also very important the content you, you know, do not to put the whole paragraph for a whole book just need a small much of contents which are useful and your audience isn't going to stay with you forever so you need to make the presentation as concise as possible and make cuts where necessary understand what re- really important and what is not able to improve if you are running long and what you going to presentation you must must have the clarity of those subjects and the clarity you don't have only that clarity the observer or it may be the learner or student have the clarity which he can get the presentation above the all else a presentation is meant to convey the message you could check all the box for the above qualities but your audience leaves the presentation not knowing what your message was then the whole thing fail identify a clear and concise message that can easily interpreted and taken from your presentation no each time within your presentation that you need to hammer home that message a clear message well delivered is the absolute key to successful presentation and when you go to there is if any subject or things it has the advantages and disadvantages the advantages of seminar seminars is like that gives assumption that students have background knowledge group and individual students try to solve problems bring exchange of facts students develop skills in problem solving give training in self learning and promote independent thinking all doubts can be cleared and disadvantages are time consuming cannot be applied to the new students timid students cannot improve if a subject knowledge is poor unnecessary discussion arises seminar cannot be organized on any content of subject matter theme should be held technique cannot be used in all levels of education possibility of formation of two ideas if you two groups exist they may try to oppose ideas of the other group etc knowledge is poor unnecessary discussion arises and thank you